As I said before, uh, today is uh, September 8, 2016. Um, Luis Aljarsson was taken to this uh, emergency room, to this hospital, emergency room, which is called FF Thompson Hospital Emergency Room Department, located. And uh, this hospital is located at 350 Parish Street, Canandaigua, New York, 14424. The phone number is 585 uh, And this is uh, what happened. Uh, Luis Aljarsson's uh, illegal alliance mafia members, um, with, uh, illegal alliance mafia members at the Meadow Lark Minor uh, trailer community are working with uh, the trafficker of citizens' identities and government benefits. Uh, DSS Commissioner Diane Dane to illegally evict Luis Aljarsson because she reported that her government benefits have been stolen and sold and continue to be sold to illegals in the country. Uh, so the taxpayers continue to pay for illegal aliens uh, uh, housing, electricity, gas, uh, uh, clothing, furniture, uh, and medical care and medication uh, through Luis Aljarsson's social security number and identity, which is uh, sold to hundreds of illegal aliens in our country. And uh, Mr. Uh, Eric T. Snyderman is fully aware of this. He's the um, uh, Attorney General of the State of New York. The Governor, uh, Mr. Andrew Cuomo, is fully aware of this. Um, the uh, pertinent federal and state agencies, including the FBI, are fully aware of this. Uh, and we have reported at this for the last uh, nine years or so, and nothing has been done because, um, as my uh, research show, everybody gets a piece of the pie of the uh, trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits. And once the citizens are assassinated, uh, then uh, the piece of the pie is um, kept quiet, uh, and the um, taxpayers' money uh, are never returned. Uh, they are never recuperated by the taxpayers. So um, let me see what these people say. This is the situation with um, uh, Luis Aljarsson uh, a court date because of the uh, tremendous threat and because the weather was at 91 degrees uh, on September 7, 2016. Uh, and Luis Aljarsson was given a court uh, date coincidentally on this date, knowing uh, by uh, uh, while the court uh, was uh, informed and knew that she was a chronically ill elderly citizen who was not supposed to be uh, uh, out in a 91 degree uh, weather. Um, she was given this court date at 2 p.m. Uh, by a judge uh, of Lima's Village uh, Civil Court. Uh, Judge Elvira uh, Luhoy, which uh, um, is said to be to have a conflict of interest in wanting to uh, sell the uh, verdict for, uh, for uh, of uh, an illegal eviction uh, in favor of the Meadow Lodge Minor uh, Toilet Community Landlord uh, and uh, and manager uh, property manager Elwood Simmons. Uh, which used, used to be, by the way, a fireman, and is friends with everybody in the uh, county, including the sheriff, uh, uh, who have uh, attempted to assassinate Ms. Rita Yarson uh, and her caretaker uh, after many attempts of, uh, after many um, hate crimes committed against her and her caretaker, who are Hispanic, um, by the way. So let's see. Um, this is the situation. We saw you have some, uh, uh, had a tremendous stress. Uh, she uh, got one of her migraine headaches, which she has uh, been getting for the last um, 16 years or so. Uh, she uh, has been uh, given Imetrex uh, or the generic for Imetrex, which is a migraine headache medication, um, which is Sumatriptan, uh, 25 milligrams. And this uh, and migraine headache uh, medication um, 
has not been given, given to Luis Aviasen for the last uh, four months or so, uh, except for uh, one pack given to her by uh, an urgent care uh, nurse practitioner in Lima, New York. And uh, she ran out. Uh, uh, and they, the illegal against mafia uh, government employees um, uh, know that if Luisa Oyasin doesn't get this medication, she uh, will have a brain hemorrhage and die. Um, uh, also, um, when she was uh, taken, she was being taken to the uh, court for this court date, which is a big station. Uh, lawsuit because uh, the landlord is supposedly su is suing for non-payment of, re of rent, but Luis Aoyasen has all the rent receipt and the evidence that um, the landlord refused to take uh, the rent after refusing to make repairs in her apartment uh, to then uh, file for um, a vexation lawsuit for non-payment of rent. So uh, being uh, uh, that she has the uh, evidence to prove this uh, regarding the landlord. She has been uh, summoned, uh, summoned to go to the Lima court, uh, controlled by the illegal aliens uh, mafia, uh, where she was going to be assassinated and uh, or falsely arrested, as well as her caretaker, um, Solange Martinez. Due to the fact that they have the evidence, which they uh, which I uh, mentioned before against the landlord and the evidence to win the case. But since the case was uh, bought uh, or paid for uh, to this uh, by the landlord and the illegal alliance mafia members, Diane Dane and Kevin McGuire, uh, this judge uh, had to give uh, a verdict of eviction even though this was, this was an illegal verdict, an invalid verdict, and a violation of U.S. law. So, uh, Luisa Yasun was taken to the urgent care in Lima, New York on Main Street. The urgent care was uh, closed uh, as per the illegal against mafia ordered. So, Luisa Yasun had to continue uh, with her uh, severe migraine headache. This elderly and chronically ill epileptic uh, citizen was then taken to uh, this hospital uh, located in Canandaigua, New York where she was refused uh, medical care uh, or any medication to um, get rid of her migraine headache. So um, this was after we heard the, um, the uh, staff, uh, the hospi this hospital staff uh, say that, oh, Luisa Oyasun, uh, 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 she's here, uh, she's not here, and then um, we saw people uh, waiting for Luisa Oyasun and her caretaker at the uh, exit at about 10.30 at night and it, this, the illegal aliens mafia members waiting for Luisa Oyasun and, care, and her caretaker at about 10.30 at night when they were coming out of this uh, hospital controlled by the illegal aliens mafia. Um, there were two illegal aliens mafia members, one uh, a woman, a female and a male. The female had uh, a salt and pepper hair, and the male was bald. Uh, they were sitting there, and as, as soon as Lisa Yerson and her caretaker were coming out, they uh, went out after them, uh, after they uh, exited the uh, door. You can see it in the cameras, uh, if you ask for the cameras, because there are cameras in this uh, hospital, which we saw. And um, let's see what... Uh, explanations they give for the denial of medical care to this elderly and chronically ill citizen, uh, as they do with uh, millions of other citizens who are illegal against mafia victims. Uh, let's see, let me see. Let's see what excuse they, do, they give. Oh, incidentally, I should mention, uh, incidentally, I should mention that um, the one of the schemes that the illegal against mafia run is uh, to tell the uh, citizens who they are trying to kill because they already sold their identity and government benefits to illegal aliens in the country is that they give medication, they gave them the medication at the uh, ER uh, to get rid of the pain or the uh, chronic illness, uh, but in reality they give uh, maybe a, a sugar pill or uh, a, 
uh, an aspirin, uh, which doesn't get rid of the um, severe problems that uh, the citizens have, and the citizens end up being uh, dead uh, after that. Um, they also, the, uh, this scheme also consists of uh, hiding the results of the uh, different exams uh, at the hospitals. Uh, and what they do is, if they do an MRI or if they do a CT scan, a CT scan or any other test, they, uh, even if the test show that the person is dying, the citizen is dying, um, and has uh, a chronic illness, they say that the citizen, they say to the, they say to the citizen, oh, you're in perfect health. Uh, Luisa Oyarsun uh, experienced this uh, in Westchester County when she went to St. John's Hospital in Yonkers, New York, as well as in um, Dubster in New York, and in um, the New York uh, Presbyterian Hospital in uh, Bronxville, New York. Um, they told her that she was uh, in perfect, perfect, uh, good health, uh, even though she has a, a urinary, uh, a chronic urinary tract infection and uh, was in tremendous pain. Uh, while she also had cancer pain in uh, her right lung because she has a, she had a, a she has a cancer tumor there. Uh, they did the CT scan, which are the tests uh, that show the cancer tumors. Uh, and they also did the uh, blood test and uh, the urine test, which showed uh, the uh, um, extreme uh, chronic acute urinary tract infection, and uh, she was refused antibiotics and also uh, pain medication. She was also sodomized at the Northern uh, Westchester uh, County Hospital, located in Mount Kisco, New York, uh, after the uh, she went there a second time because the first time uh, the illegal aliens mafia couldn't contact the uh, right person in the hospital to have Luisa Yarson sodomized or assassinated at the hospital. So they waited until she returned a second time with this chronic condition, um, with this chronic condition, and she was denied medical care, medication, and uh, she was sodomized at this hospital. This was reported to the uh, Attorney General in pertinent state and federal individuals, including the FBI. Nothing has been done because they also get a piece of the pie from the trafficking of government benefits and citizens' identities. And uh, by the way, to deny medical care to anybody, even if the person is not a citizen, in this case, Luisa Yasem is a, a citizen, um, uh, is uh, illegal. So these people are not only trafficking with citizens' identities and government benefits and falsifying the citizens' signatures when they submit applications for the hundreds, uh, the different hundreds uh, government pro uh, programs that they apply to uh, using the citizens' names and social security numbers so they can get a lot of money uh, courtesy of the taxpayers and the government funds into their packets. They not only do they they are not only doing that the, uh, the illegal aliens mafia members who are government employees, but they are also um, violating the law by denying health care and medical care to the citizens. So let's see uh, what we can do regarding uh, what we can uh, get the explanation that we can get regarding this situation.